Hello, today on the Flanagan Homestead, I'm going to be building myself a self-serve firewood stand. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but I didn't have a place to put it. But uh, if you've been following my channel, I did buy a piece of property seven acres below my existing property that helps give us access to our property. Um, and what that does though is it actually has an access point from Lewis River Road or State Route 503, which is the main road that people use when they're coming from the Portland, uh, Vancouver area to come up uh, and explore the mountains coming up to Mount St. Helens, Lewis River, uh, Swift Reservoir, Murren Reservoir, and all the camping and outdoor experiences out here, they go right past my new property. So there's a lot of need for firewood. I had a friend who tried this at his place and did fairly well, uh, but he, he wasn't taken advantage of, but his stand was right by his house. He could see it from his house. This stand that I'm putting in is gonna be out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody can see it from their house. So it'll be interesting how honest people are. If people are gonna steal my wood, if they're gonna to try to break out my lockbox, I don't know. So uh, I don't wanna put a ton of money into it, but I have access to the six by four shipping crate, fortunately, that is really heavy. So it's gonna be the base of it. And I'm gonna put, I had some old metal left over. I'm gonna put a roof over it. I'm gonna, I'll put bundles in there at $5 a piece. And I'll see if people are actually, uh, taking the wood and depositing the money or if they're taking advantage of me. Uh, I like having this crate because it's heavy enough you can't hardly move it so it'll hold up the roof and everything else but I don't have to put posts into the ground in case I decide this isn't working. If it does work really well I'll be excited because uh, I'm going to try. I quite often have free range chicken eggs for my chickens that I'd like to sell. I might put those out uh, extra fruits and vegetables berries or sometimes like I right now I have 30 tomato starts that are going and I'm going to put five in my garden so uh, I might sell off tomato starts and just see if this is almost like a farmer's market stand out in the middle of nowhere if it works don't know if it will but we're going to make the bar make the stand today and uh, then I'll give you an update later on how it's going oh and I forgot to mention uh the property that I'm developing, I'm putting in a tiny home, a little getaway house to rent out, an RV pad, a couple campsites, and I plan to build a tree house that people can rent for hipcamp.com and uh, stay in. So obviously I will be creating my own market for firewood right there as well. Got a donated piece of roofing, sheet metal. Gonna cut it up into three pieces, keep this uh, firewood stand inexpensive. I happen to have a sheet metal blade, but if you don't have one, you could simply take out your wood blade, turn the teeth backwards, and saw this way and it cuts sheet metal really well. I've done that successfully many times, but I've been cutting enough sheet metal with my shop project that I actually have a sheet metal blade. It's always a good idea to have eye protection on when you're working with tools. I'm not always good about that, but when I'm cutting metal, I am not disregarding the eye protection.
going to trace the lines for my sign and then paint it, but I'm having trouble deciding which a font I want to go with. Decisions, decisions. Design is not my forte. There's the outline, just got to fill it in with paint now. So here we are on the side of the road, my firewood stand. Uh, I know the firewood's going to go, but is money going to be placed there and people going to leave the money box alone? This is kind of a social experiment. I've had friends that have done this before, but it's close to their house. And if you could see here, I'm going to give you a 360 degree view. You cannot see another home, another driveway, another anything out here. It's just open space. And then the driveway to my new property is right here. Nobody currently living on it. So... With it being this secluded, are people going to try to take advantage of it? Or are they going to buy the wood and leave the money? We'll soon find out. So I put my bundles out this weekend. I came back Monday night, six bundles gone. It's like, all right, I made some sales. So six bundles at five bucks, I should have 30 bucks. I went and checked the money box. I have $1. So obviously more bundles were stolen than paid for. I'm not gonna end it right here. I'll put a couple more bundles in. We'll see if it works, but uh, if it's not, if I continue to get stolen, I won't leave it out here. I'll move this, uh, I'll move my firewood stand in onto my property further when I set up the campground and I'm assuming my campers will be uh, more honest than the people just running up and down the street. Not giving up yet. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching including horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. I love hearing from and interacting with you. If you guys have comments or questions, that's great. Please like, subscribe, share. I'd love to see you again.